What are fork and exec, and how are processes created? Well, when a process in execution makes a fork system call, an identical child process is created, and the original process is the parent process. Consider cellular division. When the cell needs to reproduce, it splits and creates a copy of itself. This would be similar to a process forking and creating a child process. Both are copies of where they came from. When a child process is created, it returns zero. And the parent process returns the PID of the child process. Checking the return value indicates whether this is the parent process or the child process. Both continue to execute at the same line of code unless exec is called by the child. This pseudocode demonstrates how processes are checked for whether they are a parent or child process. Remember that new child processes PIDs are initialized to zero. Exec loads the files associated with the child process. For example, in this code, each child process created by the fork calls continues in the line of code immediately following the system call which created it rather than starting at main. In this way, a fork call is different than a recursive method and it doesn't behave like a method call stack. This code will result in two to the power of three child processes because each successive child process calls fork on the following line. Calling the exec system call replaces the process's memory space with a new program. The exec call loads a binary into memory destroys the memory image of the program containing the exec system call and starts its execution. Consider a parent who enlists the help of a child to do chores around the house. This is not unlike the relationship between the parent and child processes created by the fork system call. The fork system call is the only way to create a new process. Thank you. <laughs> I regret that.